Meteorologist Carson Meredith joining us now, and he is in our Storm uh, Tracker Weather Center. Carson, these evening and early morning temps, just lovely out yeah. there, at least for the beginning of August. I think I will take it. I'll take it too, Matt, especially after, after all that dangerous heat we had last week, those feels like temperatures in the triple digits. This is definitely an unusual gift. We don't get this a whole lot in early August. We got to enjoy it for a couple more days because that heat will be back as we get towards the upcoming weekend. Outside right now on the Way 31 Skycam Network, a sunny picture and a hazy picture too. Temperatures in the lower 80s, 82 in Huntsville, 82 in in the Shoals, it's 80 in Gunnersville, and also 80 degrees this morning out in Decatur. Quiet picture on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We will keep a small chance, just a 10% chance for a stray shower in far northeastern Alabama today. We're talking right along the Alabama-Georgia state line. Otherwise, you're going to stay dry. Look at those temperatures, though. That's well below average for this time of year. Normally, we're tracking those highs in the low 90s. We're only going to be topping out in the mid-80s later on this afternoon. That tiny chance for an isolated shower through around sunset and then we'll dip back to right around 70 degrees so we get closer to 11 o'clock tonight. Don't forget that sunscreen if you're going to be out today. Plenty of sunshine, much different story compared to yesterday. UV index is very high, so it's only going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to get that sunburn later on today. Chores outdoors, green lights across the board for the next few days. This is an unusually quiet forecast for early August standards. Again, green lights across the board. Those temperatures will steadily start to creep back up, especially starting later this week and into this weekend. That air you can wear humidity. Humidity. It's pretty much absent right now, but it will definitely be back in the forecast as we head towards Friday and especially on Saturday. Here's future radar with those temperatures. It's a quiet picture for the rest of your afternoon. I mentioned just a tiny chance for an isolated shower over northeast Alabama later on today. Notice though this data source is really keeping all of us dry, but it's just a small 10% chance in far northeastern Alabama. Like I mentioned, temperatures in the mid 70s to right around 80 degrees by 7 o'clock this evening. All quiet overnight tonight for the first day of school for many North Alabama districts tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, no weather issues whatsoever. Temperatures in the mid 60s actually really comfortable out there because that humidity is still going to be absent when you wake up tomorrow morning. Mix of sun and clouds around for that first day of school. Then by noontime tomorrow, you see a bit higher coverage of those isolated showers over Sand Mountain Wednesday afternoon. We're going to go with a 20% chance for your Wednesday, but notice many spots will remain dry. We'll keep a small shower chance in the forecast later on tomorrow evening, and it's a quiet picture once again with those temperatures starting to creep back up by the time we get to Thursday morning. Now now let's look at the overall temperature trend over the next seven days. Again, let's enjoy these next couple of days. 87 today, 86 tomorrow, and then we start to inch back up towards 90 by Friday and Saturday, 92 by Sunday, and that's when that humidity starts to come back into play. That's when those dangerous heat index values could start to come back into play too, feeling more like right around 100 degrees as you head towards this upcoming weekend. So not too bad for early August. Again, 87 your high today, small chance for a shower on Wednesday, just a 20% chance. Our next widespread chance for those showers and storms, if you will, it's not a whole lot. It's just a 30% chance by the time we get to early next week. But all in all, let's just enjoy these next few days with the lack of humidity and those temperatures still in the 80s. We don't get that very often in early August. Matt.